Hey everyone, here is Nicolas Angelbert. I'm going to talk to you about a project to democratize data-driven decision around seed. It's called in collaboration with Seed to Kitchen at UW Madison and Organic Seed Alliance and the platform itself, Seedlinked. Because one of the most important decisions every grower makes, as you know, is planting the right variety for their need. However, in this context, most of the food globally, or 70%, is produced by small farmers who use and plant mostly specialty crop. And those two, small farmer and specialty crop, have very low amount of information and data, granular data, to make the proper decision on what seed to plant. It's mostly, too often time, a simple picture and a text. As an example, just in the US alone, you have access to about 5,500 seed tomato seed online how do you make a decision but imagine if thousands of growers across north america connecting their seed story together to create common knowledge that would be interactive for everyone to to look at there has been trial as we, we call collaborative trialing collaborative breeding however until now the logistic has been a huge burden to mail, to contact, to share information, to share results. But now we are all connected, we have technology. With this project, we created a two-sided platform. In one hand, we have grower, consumer, and eater, and on the other hand, trial manager and breeder organization that share information to create collective sea intelligence using technology, using mobile device, using cloud computing to share information instantly data science and information design to analyze, craft this data, to make meaningful results for everyone and connected and interactive. So we need to simplify collaboration and amplify the results. The method is we use 35 trolling organization across North America, across 34 specialty crop. We made 250 trials across two years in US and Canada and tested more than a thousand variety. That was the equivalent of close to 56,000 review across 15 trades shared by 1850 grower uh, across North America. The result is very interesting. First, in those trial discriminativity of difference between two variety is highly significant. As an example here, we can see heirloom tomato with 45 growers. So that's a first very exciting result. Second, we compared replicated augmented design quantitative data versus our simple average one to five score. The correlation you can see here on a paper trial is stunning, meaning Crowdsourcing information on the farm is super accurate, but not only is accurate, it's highly predictive. We did same trial across many grower between 2019 and 2020. You can see here, we correlate 2019 result by 2020 on farm. The correlation is super high, meaning 2019 can really highly predictive 2020 results, meaning grower U results is new experience you share is so powerful. And then finally, we connected all this information into a search engine where any people can find the result and find variety across traits, variety, and so forth. And so across the company. The next steps is how can, can we predict performance by bioregion, integrating GIS layering, and looking at adaptation in bioregion for people to find really the seeds that really matter for them in their condition, in their management. And also bringing more breeding, more collaborative breeding using the same methods. We are decentralized breeding for regional adapted variety, and we are creating the upper middle west collaborative plant breeding network to really prove that we can go even a step further than just collaborative trialing, but to do collaborative breeding using the same method. Please join the movement. Join us if you're interested to trial, be part of the collaborative breeding, or just looking for seed, or run your trial with our project, Seedling. Thanks so much.